guys, thanks to your amazing feedback, we're here for my very first episode of How Does She Do It? After my introduction video, I still wasn't sure that I wanted to do this, but after seeing all of your amazing feedback, I figured I should probably keep my end of the deal. So today I will be showing you how I do my makeup, the current look that I'm wearing from start to finish. What I'm wearing today is mostly by The Balm. I may be a tad obsessed with their products right now. Basically, the only things that I'm wearing that is not by them is my mascara and my um, lip liner. I will share the products as I go for uh, you girls who may be interested. So waddle with me to my table and we'll get started. I'm going to try my best to keep this video as short as possible, but I am super slow at putting on makeup. Okay, you guys, so I was wrong. There are a couple of other products I use that weren't by the bomb, including this primer, which is by Smashbox. This primer feels so silky on your skin. Um, I'm only using it on my cheeks because that's where my pores are the largest. You'll notice that I have to lean into the table when I apply on my right side. That's because my right arm doesn't go up as high as my left so it's really hard for me to reach my face. Next is eyelid primer. This is by The Balm and it's called Put A Lid On It. I love the names they give their products. Like I said, obsessed. So I'm actually using a silicone face mask applicator to put the eyelid primer on. I accidentally came across these on Amazon when I ordered a mud mask treatment and it got me thinking that the long handles would be really helpful in applying other things as well. Next is foundation. This is the Balm's Time Balm Foundation, and it's in the shade Light Medium. I've only recently started using their cream foundation. Usually, I'm a powder kind of girl but this stuff seems to blur my pores a little bit better and it wears better the longer you have it on. I'm using the mud mask applicator for this as well and then I blend with these flat handle brushes. I think they're actually called toothbrush makeup brushes. These are a new find for me as well. The flat handle helps me to hold it in place against the table while the brushes on these are actually facing me. Unlike other brushes where they're angled on the top of the handle, you'll see what I mean in a minute when I use a regular brush. And then we have concealer. This is also called Time Balm and it's in the shade Light which is one shade lighter than the light medium foundation. I just use this sparingly under my eyes and on a few other red spots I have on my face. Again, I'm using a toothbrush makeup brush. This one is just a little bit smaller. If you want to give them a try, I really recommend them. They blend very well. They're very dense and I got a set of five for less than 10 bucks on Amazon. And I finish my base with the Balm's Photo Balm Powder Foundation. This is also in the shade Light Medium. Some girls like to do this step at the end, but I personally like to do it here because I don't want to accidentally smear my eye makeup once it's all finished. Remember when I was talking about using a regular brush on my face? Notice how when I hold the handle of this brush against the table, the bristles are facing upward instead of towards me. The toothbrush makeup brushes work better on creams than they do powders though, so switching brushes is necessary for me here. The eye palette I'm using today is called La Bomba Volume 2. It has shades of blue in it, and I'm actually using all four shades in this palette today. 
I start with Samba and I just put that on my lids. Then I use Cha Cha for my crease. I love using this blending brush to get rid of the harsh lines. Darker colors can be hard to apply perfectly and this brush just softens those edges. Merengue is a beautiful bright shimmer for the very middle of your lids to make them pop. I use that just under my brows for highlight as well. And I used the darkest shade in this palette, Tango, on the outside corner of my eyes and also as a liner on my lower lids. And then I moved to my brows. This is the Balm's Brow Pal in the shade Dark Brown. It's a powder and super pigmented, so all you really need is a touch of it. I never used to care about filling my eyebrows before, but once I started and actually found a product that I liked, it really does make a difference in the framing of your face. Next is eyeliner, and eyeliner is one of the two hardest things for me to apply. I think that probably could be said of most girls though. I find myself holding my breath so I draw the line straight. <laughs> the Balm's Swing Liquid Eyeliner is amazing though. I'm able to be pretty precise because of the flexible applicator. I'm not super great at winged corners though because of the angle I have to hold it, but I can get a little wing out of it. And the right side is definitely harder than the left. Try drawing matching lines when you don't even have matching arms. Oh look, another product that isn't by the Balm. This is Lorac's Front of the Line Pro Eye Pencil in the shade Black Pearl. This was an accidental buy, but a good one. I meant to get just regular black, but this has glitter in it. So pretty up close, but not so overpowering that you can see the glitter from afar and I am using this on my lower waterline. Now for blush. This is called Hot Mama by The Balm. I have always had a hard time finding the right blush for my skin. They're either too bright or too brown and they always accentuate my huge pores. I love this blush and have yet to find another shade better. Though The Balm did just recently come out with a new shade that I'd like to try. Uh, I apply this using an angle brush. The second hardest thing for me to apply is mascara. And the reason it's hard is because you have to hold the applicator horizontally. One thing I've noticed is that a smaller handle helps with that. So I'm using a travel size version of Full Exposure by Smashbox. What I also love about this mascara is the brush is very thick. I don't like a whole lot of mascara on my lower lashes and this big brush allows me to apply to both my upper and lower lashes at the same time, getting just the right amount on my lower lashes. Also, you'll notice that I'm holding a foundation sponge underneath. This helps to hold the mascara wand in place for me without slipping out from underneath my arm. And again, because I have to reach so low, it makes the right side harder to apply. And last is lip liner. I can't say last but not least because for me, this is actually the least important part. I typically do not wear lip liners or lipsticks only on rare occasions because I use my mouth for everything. And, well, the lipstick ends up on whatever it is I'm working on instead of on my lips. This is called Illusion by Model Company. I got it in a Nipsey bag and it is very pretty. It just doesn't really have any staying power. Thanks for joining me for my very first episode. I'm not really sure how often I will post new videos because this takes quite a bit of work for me. But hopefully this is just the beginning of many more. Bye guys. Stop.